In case you didn't know, I stopped playing on my phone and I have been playing COD Mobile on a tablet for just over 100 days now. Today I'm sharing my aim settings for 2024 that gave me what I think is good aim after hopping onto a new device. But if you're a phone user, you can still keep watching because you might pick up a thing or two that you'll find useful as well. First, let's go over what I see. When talking about field of view, know that it's split into two things. Camera FOV and FOV. For a quick breakdown, FOV stands for field of view. If you go with a high camera FOV, imagine you're looking through a wide angle camera lens. You can see more of what's around you. Good for spotting enemies. If you go with a low camera FOV, now imagine looking through a telescope. You see less, but distant things appear bigger. Useful for precision shooting. I personally use 80 camera FOV, and while that may be too high for some people playing on phones, it makes more sense to crank this setting up on a tablet to take advantage of the larger screen. Depending on your playstyle, you could go low if you're passive, medium if you want to cover all bases, or go high if you play aggressively. The other FOV setting, also known as FPP FOV, you could just set that to 100 because it makes your gun appear slimmer, letting you see more of your surroundings. I never used Sync ADS FOV to scope zoom on the phone, but on tablet, it's a different issue because without it, Every time you ADS, it just zooms too much for me. I have it on because I can still see enemies even though it doesn't zoom in, but with this setting on, recoil control can become harder for other people. You stare at the calendar and see months, weeks, and days ticking down until the launch of one of the most anticipated games this year, Warzone Mobile. While the excitement for Warzone Mobile builds, it's important to remember that currently, the limited release is only available in selected regions, Australia, Chile, Germany, Sweden, Norway, and Malaysia. So gamers outside these areas will have to wait a bit longer to jump in, and if you force yourself to play on a server that's a thousand miles away, it won't be a smooth experience. Well, today you're in luck because I will help you dive into the limited release and dominate Verdansk before anyone else, completely lag-free. It's simple. All you need is Gear Up Booster. Gear Up Booster helps you fight lag by lowering your latency, preventing packet loss, and optimizing your entire network connection, making it the perfect app to use to play Warzone Mobile. Without Gear Up Booster, finding a match was impossible, and every attempt sent me back to the loading screen. All I had to do was open the app, choose which server I want to play on, and press boost. It improved my ping by 83%, lowering it down to 58 ping in Warzone Mobile, which is pretty decent considering that I'm playing on a whole different server. So, what are you waiting for? Drop in Verdansk earlier than everyone else now. Thanks to Gear Booster for sponsoring today's video. Next up, graphics settings. This one will depend on the device you use, but you'd always want to set your frame rate to the highest setting. Being able to see more frames will allow you to react better in fast-paced situations. This is exactly what I do, having my frame rate on Ultra which keeps my graphic quality set to medium. Then I have anti-aliasing on for better visual quality and realistic scope on to see enemies earlier whenever I scope in than if I had it turned off. Whenever you aim down and fire, you'd always want everything to be steady. So, under no circumstances should I see anyone using weapon performance while ADSing and hip fire. Listen, I never really used this setting since it came out, but I just tried to play one game with everything cranked up to 100 and nope. Don't do it yourself. Have the soft so you can aim and fire as steady as you can in COD Mobile. Damage number doesn't really affect my aim, but it lets me know how much health an enemy has after I hit a couple of shots. It helps you know which body part you're hitting, giving you an idea if you're close to getting a kill with a gun, particularly with slow fire rate weapons. Those are the settings giving me all the visual information I need, so I should have the best settings that will help me react to the best to what I see. I play with a tablet now, so my HUD will look a bit different, but how I use it is pretty much the same. I play with five fingers, dedicating my left middle finger for aiming and weapon switching. I use my left index finger for firing and only firing. My left thumb for controlling the joystick, which I use for strafing. My right index finger does all the movement and finally my right thumb does all the aiming. Here's how I position my right thumb for aiming. I don't actually use the whole surface of my thumb, instead I use this corner of my thumb to have a smaller surface contact, kinda like a stylus. My palms face the tablet and I do a slight bend on the thumb. On phone, I can't really make my palms parallel to the phone so I just do more of the bend. This is the most comfortable position I've found for my aiming finger, and I think the range of motion is fine and doesn't really strain my thumb. I've been using an ADS button beside a fire button for the longest time now, just because it's the easiest way for me to do pre-aiming, ADSing and firing, 
and hip firing. Now it won't shame you just because you're still using ADS to fire, but I believe you can still do these three if you put a fire button beside it for hip firing, then use your right index finger to ADS. I use tap and hold to ADS because it's the smoothest setting for me while I use five fingers. This allows me to switch between ADSing and hip firing in situations where I have to react to an enemy that's near me. Here are my sensitivity settings. Getting my sensitivity for the tablet was a challenge, but I think I found the right one for me. If you guys want a sensitivity guide, just let me know in the comments. Aim assist is one of the most helpful settings for mobile gaming, as you won't really have pinpoint accuracy all the time because of the surface contact between the screen and our aiming finger, and the fact that sweat and oil can build up on the screen. Aim assist allows you to have great aim even with those external factors. If you have it on, keep it on. If you like it off, then keep it off. Hitting sound enhancement can help as it's another cue that you're aiming right at your target and you're hitting your shots. But if you think it's unnecessary, you can just turn it off. What's the setting that really helped to your aim? Let us know in the comments below. Now that you have your best settings, you might want to test it out by doing aim training that you can follow right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.